With Labelmark 6 from Brady, you can make labels faster and easier than ever before. Here's how you get started. With Labelmark 6 open, click on the Create button and select New Label. For this tutorial, we'll be using THT19 material. So in the new window that opens up, type THT19 in the search bar. The list below will filter as you type, so just select THT19 once it pops up. If you look below the search bar, you'll see that you've got the option of selecting either line mode or graphical mode. Graphical mode allows you to move all the objects in your label freely. Line mode, by contrast, restrains your text to fixed locations on the label. For this tutorial, we'll be working in graphical mode. Make sure it's selected and then click on Create in the lower right. In the new label window that opens, navigate the toolbar at the top and start by selecting the text icon right here. Next, click on the label itself. You'll expose the cursor and the text box. And we'll go ahead and type in serial number for this demo. As you type, you'll notice on the left side of the label mark interface, a property tab is opened up. Here, you've got the chance to customize your font. So you can increase the font size, change the font, make it bold, even change the justification. Before we go too far, with that text now in place, head back up to the toolbar quick and click on the Select tool. It's the arrow right to the left of the text tool. I want to give you a feel for what graphical mode is. Use it to move that text box around a little bit. Next, we're going to make a couple more text boxes and bounce back and forth between the text and select tools to make sure we've got everything lined up properly. And you know what? So long as we're here, let's go ahead and bold that last text field. Head back up to the toolbar and select the rectangle tool. Draw a box around the inside of the label. You can see the properties window on the left is now going to give you the chance to customize that shape. For right now, we'll just leave it at the default. Next, if you look back to the toolbar, you'll see an image tool. Select that one. When you click on the label now, an explorer window will open up and you'll be able to navigate to a variety of images that you can insert in your label. We'll choose an arrow for this one right here. And we'll go back to the select tool to scale it and place it. Now we're going to jump up into the toolbar one more time and select the barcode tool right here. Click on the label again and you'll see a default barcode appear. In the left properties window, you can adjust the value for it. We'll just add some text here for the time being. You can also change the density of the barcode, the type of barcode, and the size. It's pretty cool. All you've got to do now is navigate up to File in the top left and select Print. 